Hi. If you're wondering why I look like crap, it's because I feel like crap. Everything was going so good. I don't, don't get me wrong, everything is still, all the plans are still in place. In terms of sleep, everything was going so good. I was, had, I had a regular schedule and everything. But then, the night before last night, I couldn't sleep. And so here's the problem. I go to sleep. I lay down to go to sleep at like 10, 11 o'clock, and then I wake up at like, I go to sleep at like midnight, I wake up at like 7. Okay, that's good, 7 hours sleep. And then, after a while, I start going to sleep at midnight. And then kind of stretching it like 1 or 2 o'clock and then next thing you know it's 7 o'clock and I'm still getting up and it's like I know you're not getting enough sleep why are you waking up and then like last night I fell asleep but then I woke up at like 5 and then I couldn't get back to sleep I have I have so much to think about so right now I'm running on very little sleep and I just went and did some shopping for travel stuff and my boxes were supposed to be here so I could start packing too I got a note on the internet that said that they arrived but I can't find it but they the uh the people downstairs they didn't put my, my mail slip in my mailbox. So I'm still waiting for that. But I got my luggage. I just bought a new laptop case. Well, not a new one. Okay, well, the laptop case itself is new, but I never had a laptop case. I've been using my backpack. And don't get me wrong, I love my backpack. But for some very strange reason, it smells really bad, and I try to wash it and it doesn't get clean. So, I'm so cheap, and I keep everything for years and years. And maybe I don't want to bring everything from years and years over with me, because it's stinky and it's got holes in it. And I've never realized it before, because I don't care. But I want to be presentable at work when I go over there. I want to look professional, and I want to people to take me seriously and respect me instead of looking at me and thinking I'm a boy <laughs> I keep getting that excuse me sir I'm not a man <laughs> I'm not a man I don't understand <laughs> so number one that they don't mistake me for, for a guy and then number two so that they don't think that I'm stealing stuff and then number three, if I need something, I don't feel that I'll make people uncomfortable trying to talk to them. On one hand, it's like, who cares? And I've been living that way up to this point. I don't care. <laughs> but this is a foreign country, and I'm already going to be up against it just because. I mean, let's be frank. I'm not going to sugarcoat things. People can be mean. <laughs> So I'm not expecting to have a 100% easy ride, you know. So I don't want to make things harder on myself. And I also don't just want it for that. I want it for myself. So I'm going to be making money. I want to feel good about things. So I'm trying to be more lenient about things. One thing I would really like is some sleep. <laughs> But I don't want to go to sleep in the middle of the day because that don't help. It's like you wake up and then you're so drowsy and then I, I, got, I got to reset my stomach. I might want to do, deal with that. So, um, but I'm still very excited. I know you can't see it in my face because I'm so tired. But I'm still very excited. I got my plane ticket already. I've got my um, hotel set up. But I think I'm going to change my hotel because... They don't got wireless internet in the room. <laughs> How am I going to do anything if I don't have any internet connection? 
Okay. And so, I might have to switch my hotel, but it says free cancellation. And so hopefully it doesn't doesn't hurt too much. They have another hotel that's there. It looks worse. It costs a little bit more. But they got Wi-Fi in the room. I mean, that's what I need. I can't, I can't be without no Wi-Fi. And plus it's closer to Tokyo. So, instead of having to take the shuttle to the airport and then going back to Tokyo, I mean, take the take the airport, take the shuttle to the airport to get to the train. I could have the train station just be a couple blocks away from the, from the hotel. I could go anywhere then. I've been researching so much stuff. It's so complicated. And I, it's still 20 days until I leave. It just seems like there's still so much stuff I have to do. So I'm trying to get a leg up. But where my boss is at, man? The FedEx, the FedEx emailed me said they was here. Anyway. Um, just wanted to give a little update about what's going on, and, um, I don't know, I guess I'll be back, maybe another 10 days I'll be back to let you know what's going on, and then, hopefully I'll be getting some sleep in the meantime, because this ain't right. I mean, I don't feel good, I'm frowning. <laughs> Face hurts, because I've been frowning so much. But, um, but yeah, so I'll be back in, in maybe in, in like on the 20th or something to give another update to see where things are. Or maybe not, I don't know, maybe it's not necessary until I'm really about to leave, but we'll see.